How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Ratalika called Deathcron. Shout out to them for getting me a code for the game. And you're looking at five bucks cross buy with two total stacks. This is a retro arcade style action platformer that's, well, if I'm being honest, buggy but doable. You're this kid that suddenly has a mech suit. You can hop out of the mech to hack terminals to open doors for your mech to go through. And that's about all I'm going to bother explaining as far as the story and gameplay goes, because it really is as basic as it gets. Trophy-wise, you essentially just have to finish the first five levels with only one really missable trophy along the way in the third level, and that's just to get hit by a falling icicle. Aside from that, there's two upgrade trophies, one for buying a health upgrade and one for buying the tri-shot upgrade. Now, there's two other upgrades, one for a flamethrower and one for lightning, but as far as I could tell, they just spend your money and don't work at all, so I would just ignore those. Expect to die a lot. Like I said at the start, this is a very buggy game, quite often with the kind of bugs that force you to go back to the main menu and restart at a save point, but that does allow us to do one very important thing, farm. The bolt looking pickups are your upgrade currency, and when you pick them up, they'll stay in your inventory even if you die, respawning once you respawn. Meaning that, for instance, if you keep getting knocked off the crocodiles in level 1, you'll be able to farm up enough bolts for a few health upgrades. After you get your tri shot upgrade, which you shouldn't bother trying to use, it's a total waste, just pick up health upgrades every chance you get. They're especially useful for the bosses, which are annoying at best. At the very least, they give you save points near the bosses, so it's a quick retry. Going in completely blind, this took me like an hour and a half to finish, though if you watch along with my guide and don't waste over 350 bucks on weapon upgrades that don't work like I did, you'll definitely be able to get it done quicker than that. I'd say anywhere between an hour and two hours, depending on how dedicated you are, is a pretty good time frame to expect. No running commentary for this one, it's a pretty straightforward action platformer and the bosses don't really require much more of a strat than just keep blasting. I'm going to leave timestamps down below for each level and the bosses just in case you get stuck somewhere and want to see how I went about doing it. Alright, that'll do it for me though everybody. Super simple, relatively easy, cheap, relatively fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was number 987 for me.
Thank <laughs> you. 